I should have just gone home. This could have waited till morning, but I just couldn't sleep. Not after all that. Hopefully, the missus is already asleep. God forbid I have her worrying even more than she usually does. But this was a rough one. Lloyd Yucatan. Mayor Lloyd Yucatan. Oh, the press is going to have a field day with this one. But who honestly could have seen this coming? I mean, he was just supposed to be having dinner with an old friend. You know, I was just going to go out for some drinks. We don't need to do a fancy dinner. My best friend is finally back in town. Seems like the perfect occasion for a dinner. Best friend? Well, you were my only friend back then. Well, look at you now, though. Mayor? You okay? Is this case the cops are working on? The press keeps on harping on me like I'm supposed to be able to do something about it. Well, is this the serial killer I heard about? We have no reason to believe it's a serial killer. It was one unfortunate death. But the detective, rather than doing his job, is trying to connect it to a bunch of murders that happened like 10 years ago. Hmm. Hey, uh, where are the facilities? Right down there. Bart? Are you down there? Well, that was unfortunate. I was in such a hurry to put on this fantastic dinner that I completely forgot to lock that room. It really is a shame. You really were my best friend, you know. You were the only one who understood me. A part of me, anyway. I, like, I kept a lot of things myself. Definitely had a lot of issues. But I got better. Ten years, but then I had to go and fall off the wagon. Skipping out on dinner? That's rude! After I went through all this trouble! Now look! You've gone and ruined the gravy! That was a family recipe, you know. Here. Have a taste before you go. <laughs> Mayor Yucatan. Mayor. Lloyd? Can you pass the cheese? 